No, 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 no. The coconut scented mustache wax. What kind of man uses lavender? What? Who cares if we're live, Richard? Well, that's your name now. Hello out there, fly fishing fans, and welcome back to In The Loop. As always, I'm Bob Frankfurter. Today's program is about what to do before you start fly fishing. I mean, you can't just charge into a hole and start flogging away. Nothing good comes from that. Trust me, you've got to think about your approach. And we're gonna talk about that in a little segment I like to call, Hold Up There, Chetch. Here today to help us figure out what to do before we get our flies wet is our resident tactical expert, Cam Sneakerton. Nice to see you, Cam. Wait, you can see me, Bob? Yeah, Cam, we can see you. Just take a look at that monitor, or that one. Well then, I've already made my first mistake. If you get spotted on the approach, the game is over before it's ever begun. Right. Well, let's check out some footage of Casey Badger on a spring creek in Montana, and let's see if we can't break down his approach. That guy is definitely not a graduate of the ninja school, but boy oh boy is he attractive. For starters, look at how he's dressed. See all those bright colors? I recommend covering your entire body in camouflage. I'm not here to talk about fashion, Cam. Let's get back to the video of Casey and see if we can't learn something, you know, useful. Whatever, Bob. Well, first, you can see right here that he's approaching the hole with the sun at his back. This move is guaranteed to cast a shadow over the water. Trout fear shadows, and when they're scared, they don't eat. Second, notice how he's coming in from upstream, walking down on the fish? Trout face into the current, so if you walk downstream, they might see you coming. Third, he's moving way too fast. The fish aren't going anywhere, they live here, so there's no reason to hurry. Finally, look here. He steps into the water before he starts fishing. That's the number one party foul of approaching a fishing spot, and a very common mistake. If you charge in there, you might just step on that big brown you were hoping for. Let's give Casey another shot and see him do it right. There are no second chances in life, Bob. Have you been talking to my ex-wife again, Cam? Yes, this is much better. His technique here is great. See how he's staying low, crouching down and he's minding his shadow? See how he's watching the water, that upstream approach, and how he's casting to the close water first? And that's smart. Stealthy fishing, Bob. And I'm awarding him an honorary brown belt. Yeah, I'm sure he'll be thrilled. Thanks for watching In The Loop. And remember, walk softly, carry a big rod, and as always, keep it tight.